YouTube, what's going on today guys? Uh, it's Mike and I'm bringing you guys another YouTube video today. I just barely woke up about 30 minutes ago and I haven't rifed yet today. I'm probably not gonna rife today. I'm probably just gonna take a, uh, a day off today because I just wanted to kind of rejuvenate, uh, let my body kind of go back to normal. Um, because it, sometimes it does get a little harsh. Um, people don't realize, you know, even though I'm just using, you know, this machine, this kind of, I'll show you guys the GB. Like people are like, oh, well, that little thing. But it's like when you're, Targeting a frequency, this is the best known thing that I've heard on the web, is when you're going in there and you're killing the bacteria and the, um, you know, the particles that are out there, it's like an opera singer singing and breaking a glass, like it's shattering the disease and it has to circulate through the body and that's why my heart goes off because it's sludgy, there's so much particles and debris going through it that I just get fatigued, I get very sick joint pain you know there's a lot of there's <laughs> there's so many side effects I'll, I'll have to give you guys a list of just something with a herxing reaction or a detox reaction and there are so many things and you know and i've sauna it twice this week and it's only what's today wednesday it's only wednesday so i've only and i've rifed the two days of the week so and that's good because i really need to start flushing a lot of stuff out and if i'm not even feeling it that day i'm not gonna feel it but i haven't rifed today and I really, I, I think I'm gonna do a, just another detox frequency and then the stabilize the balance of well-being. And the stabilize the balance of well-being one is, let me get the, the magic book. Um, hold on, let me try to find this. It says the stimulate the balance of well-being is 1565. Now these are not auto channel frequencies. These are just on their own cha channels. And I don't really know if they work, but I know that last time I did the insomnia thing, just like an online frequency one, I came downstairs and I couldn't sleep at all and I did the stabilize the balance of well-being and I was out till about five o'clock. So obviously it's doing something. Um, and another thing from last night too was, is my whole left side went numb. Everything was numb, really emotional, just in a lot of pain last night, a lot of, you know, in it, it's really rough, you know, it's kind of, it's very rough to know that I just, you know, and I can't work out yet, I can't do a lot of things because my heart is still just, it still is not uh, ready to roll yet. And I don't know if I should work out. Nobody's really given me any guidance to do this. This is me, myself, and I doing this journey um, because nobody I know, I, don't, I only know one other person in Utah who has Q fever and they don't rife. They have a rife machine, but they don't rife. And it's kind of hard because you know, I obviously if my chest is already clearing up, then there's definitely some debris particles going away. And uh, another thing too is, is look at all this acne. It is, uh, it is just crazy. Like I, I have never like in the two and a half years, even before I didn't have that much acne, but now it's like my face drops pale all the time. My face is just wrecked with acne. And you know, it's detoxing, it's cleansing, um, you know, and that's just cool, you know, and I'm still just kind of chilling at home, you know, I'm not really doing much because I'm just not, it's not that I'm not motivated, it's just I'm not feeling good. And we're almost to two months, and that's a good sign, you know, that's a good thing because I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna keep pushing on to know that I'm going to get to, uh, to get better, you know, and it's it's rough. I'm not gonna lie. This is the worst. This is worse than the disease, probably. This is hands down, you know. I can't even describe to you just how much herxing goes on in a daily basis. Like I go through. It's not just depression anymore. It's not just depression or anxiety. It is. I I can't even explain to you. It is joint pain, miserableness. You you're happy one second. You're sad one moment. It is so many things locked into one thing and it is just rotating and rotating and rotating. And you can't even, you, like, you can't even just sit still for a minute. Like you're just, you're going, you're going, you're going. And I think that's why in my head, I have those bumps too on my head. I haven't really felt the bumps as much anymore on my head, but you know, there's a lot, there's just so many things that go, you know, cause it's affecting the whole body. You know, your whole body is just attacking this treatment and it's just killing so much stuff. And, you know, and I used to smoke, I used to smoke. So I don't know, smoke and drink. So there's probably parasites from the drinking and the smoking and the heavy metals. There's so many different things that could be stirring the pot in my body. And, you know, and modern medicine can't get to it, you know, and this is definitely, I, I can't, oh my gosh. Anyways, 
I'm gonna rife right now, and then I will get back to you guys in like two seconds uh, if the rife machine uh, does its thing or not, because we'll see what happens, you know, because I obviously, I feel okay. I'm like 50-50 again, but we'll see how it is after this treatment. Just got done rifing. Um, usually I get pretty tired after, but you know, it's whatever. So yeah, I just did the stabilize the balance of well-being, and that's always a good one to do because it just kind of recenters myself. My my kind of it's kind of like when you put your feet in grass. It just really, you know, it, it levels you out with reality, and I I think that's what I need. And you know, I don't think I should do it every time with the um, with uh, what's it called the. Uh, like if I was to do the Q fever one, because I really, I want it, I want the full effects to come out. I want to just kind of have it out and to help me out a little bit. But, you know, I think the, the other main thing too that helps really a lot with rifing is vitamin intake. I think high vitamin C per day. I think I take, I take, so I take the Costco 500 milligram ones, but I usually end up taking about six to 10 of those a day. And that really boosts you up. And if you're lucky, you can get a pretty uh, intense bowel movement, which uh, just clears you out pretty good. So, you know, and that's that's it for this video today, guys. I hope you guys are having a good day. It's kind of cloudy out. I think that's probably the barometric, uh, beer, barometric pressure. Gosh, I can never say that word. Is uh, is really uh, happening because I definitely when it's like cold and gloomy out I get really really bad joint pain and I think that's what's been going on for the past couple days so but anyways guys I'll leave that with you guys today I hope you guys are having a great Wednesday and I will catch you guys tomorrow okay take it easy guys bye